Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a behind the scenes of the Eagle Eye podcast. Today, we're going to go cover the Tour Aguila match between Club America and Cruz Azul over at Carson, California. And we did this once, me and Dylan, when we went to go cover America out in San Antonio. And I thought, why don't we give you guys another kind of blog-esque type of thing and where we give you guys a behind the looks at everything that goes down, how we go about it, so that way you guys can see exactly what it is to kind of cover these games and what it's like to be on uh, the other side of the scope. So, without further ado, yeah, let's get right into it. This should be a fun one. It should be good. Um, it's a little cloudy today. We'll see exactly how that's going to transfer over to the actual Fan Fest, how many people are going to be outside tailgating. So I am a little bit curious. It was raining over here by where I live. I was checking the weather over in Carson, and it just looked like it was cloudy. So we'll kind of gauge to see how things are. Um, but yeah, should be exciting. Hope you guys really enjoy uh, the content and everything like that. And yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. Three hours later. All right, everyone. We've just made it to the parking at Dignity Health Sports Park. Um, quite a sunny day, actually. I'm actually surprised that it's as sunny as it is. Um, but it's about 2:52 gonna go pick up the credentials and then after that uh start taking pictures of the fans some videos start uploading it to twitter and stuff like that so should be interesting i'm excited to see what happens um like i said i really thought it was gonna be raining i thought it was gonna be cloudy sun's out and everything so fingers crossed it's gonna be a good one so let's see what happens um but yeah keep you guys up to date and let's let's keep it rolling and I just kind of wanted to share with you guys this. Um, I was on my way over to pick up the credentials by the gate and the line was ridiculous to get in. This is two to three hours before the gate actually opened for fans to go into the stadium. So the line was already excessive to say the least. All right, just to give you guys a little bit of an insight been running around taking pictures, videos, and I'll probably edit them in a little bit, but just to give you guys a heads up, I guess I'm excited for what all this looks like. I'm going to take you guys to the fan zone, to the fan festival. Um, I'll upload also a video of Borra. That was pretty cool. And then, um, yeah, isn't it crazy? It's like one and a half hours that I've been here. So, as yes, we just keep it rolling. We'll go inside the stadium right now in a bit, show you guys all that, and then, um, yeah, first, let's head over to the fan festival, and uh, show you guys a little bit of what's going on over there. And as I was making my way over to the fan festival, you guys can see right here a multitude of vendors selling scarves, jerseys, shirts, flags. I mean, you name it, they had everything bucket hats, uh, you know, toys. It was ridiculous. I mean, there was no reason as to why you were going to show up to this game and not have any gear for either of both sides playing tonight. So yeah it's 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 always a treat seeing uh, all these vendors and everything that they have at their disposal to sell but walking into the fan fest if you guys have never been here before at dignity health sports park um they have this little section outside the stadium in where you know fans can come in hang out enjoy um by the little grass area there's a couple of benches on on the right hand side you guys can't see it because of the because of the video uh, but yeah i mean you guys can see right here it's a small little area but it was jam-packed with fans i mean the line was ridiculous just to try to get a picture with sage um and then you had of course pictures with agi and everybody and everything so it was just it's always nice to come in hang out with the fans see you know the multitude of america fans which by the way i think outnumbered the cruz azul fans at least in the fan festival um, but there you guys can see right there all the fans enjoying themselves and the glorious 14th title you guys see right there but um, yeah I mean overall I would say the fan festival was was a success I mean you had the banda right there you had you know all these little uh, 
games and, and concursos that they were able to do to try to, you know, win stuff. And, and it was just nice to see everyone just kind of enjoy themselves, you know, soak it up, kind of take it all in. So it was it was nice. It was fun. And eventually I made my way over to the Porra. And um, before they started marching out, they were just kind of jamming out and enjoying their time right there. So I just thought, you know what, this is cool. This is amazing. Uh, so I just don't wanted to show you guys this and then beforehand, of course, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with them marching their way into the stadium, which was an absolutely amazing, amazing uh, spectacle. So you guys can just take a look for yourself. And after that commotion and after all that scenery, I finally made my way over into the stadium. As you can see right there, I was taking a little bit of video of the stadium, of the pitch. And then sh shortly right after that, I ended up making my way over to the press box. So um, I had to get through a traffic of people. There was a lot of bodies in the stadium and there was still plenty and plenty outside. So as you guys can tell, this was... This was quite the game. I mean, the fans showed up in numbers, absolutely just flocked the whole area. Um, but after a short little while of walking, I finally made my way up to the stairs. You can see right now, it's a multitude of stairs that I had to climb to get into the press box. But here's you guys' behind the scenes as to how I got myself up in the booth. You guys can see right there the stairs, the 178 million stairs that you have to go through just to get to the press box. Um, there's other ways to get in as well, but I kind of like this one just because, I don't know, I guess it's a bit of an exercise of anything, uh, but it's just always the way I've been going up. So yeah, you guys can see right here, making my way up, last couple of steps, and then boom, we're inside the press box. So yeah, it's, it was a day. Let me just tell you that much. It was definitely a day. Hi guys, this is the scenes outside. Not outside, sorry, excuse me. In the press box. You can see TV right there. I'm tweeting right now. Uh, looks like it might be a jam, 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 jam packed house today. So, should be fun. Let's see how it goes. How many guys right there? Let's see. So right now we're at halftime. So many got two pursuit one. It's been a good game so far. Actually, really, really good game. I wasn't expecting it to be such a high tempo game, so back and forth. So like, you know, it's very entertaining. Very, very entertaining to say the least. Um, the biggest downgrade, of course, is the fact that Alvaro Fidalgo went down on, with an injury. How bad will that be? How expensive is that going to be? I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and find out. 
But other than that, like I said, it's been a good, good game. Uh, fan, the atmosphere here is electric. I don't know if you guys can hear me to this point, but um, yeah, absolutely electric. It's been great. It's been fun. Um, I'm excited to see what the fans have to throw for the second half, especially the American fans. They are known for their show. Yeah, it's it's gonna be hopefully a brilliant season. They are about 30 seconds away. Thought, but that's kind of what it gets. Give you guys an update on the vlog side of things. Um, and for those of you guys who are following over on Twitter and watching this game with us, you guys will have seen everything that we have posted and updated. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it here and I'll leave it. You guys another update? Surely. So the game is officially over. America lost to Cruz Azul 3-2. It got a little bit chippy towards the end of the game. Um, I didn't get to record because I was just so busy doing everything. But um, you guys should have seen the America fans were, I mean not the fans, the America players were nowhere near happy with um, the refereeing at the end. It was pretty interesting to see the way that the players kind of ran up to the referee. Um, you guys can see, try to flip the camera over. So the stadium's kind of dying out. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what the end result is. While this, of course, uh, Fidalgo out injured. We'll see what the extent of that is later on. It's not looking great. Um, but for the little bit of minutes that we saw, there are some positives that we're going to be able to take away from this game. Um, but yeah, as far as the vlog goes, though, I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this, you know, the kind of behind the scenes of what it's like to cover a game and stuff like that. Um, I'll be posting, you know, a couple of photos uh, after this of, of the fans and all that stuff. So, yeah, honestly, this is amazing. Regardless of the result, really, at the end of the day, the best part about it is being able to come watch these games with the abundance of America fans that always come in and support and showcase and so again always great always fun um, and really thank you from the bottom of our hearts that you guys give us this opportunity to be able to be the people to cover the game for you guys so again thank you so much and uh, yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this I'm signing off and I guess I'll see you guys on the next podcast alright this is Ivan from the podcast keep it here until then as always happy America